wrong thing, I'm gonna beat you up and send you to jail. Mm. Don't nobody wanna hear that. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. so through performance arts combined with uh, strategic counseling, okay, mm -hmm. through spirituality, uh, which is used as a wraparound, and then if you have uh, connections with the court system, okay, and, and political people that want to help and not just wear suits and stinky cologne, but people that actually want to help, you get that wraparound connected with your program where you're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the platform that I work from. Well, you know, it sounds like, and it, and it, and it is a solid platform, you know, to be recognized, and it's doable, mm -hmm. you yeah, know, because doable, yes. especially like, you know, the major component is the music. Right. You know, everybody got something in their head. You can't tell me, don't everybody listens to some form of music. Absolutely. You know, whether it's country, R&B, jazz, language. you know, oriental, mm -hmm. whatever. If you toe tapping, that's music, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, in the essence of trying to change the mindset of an adolescent or an adult through music, mm -hmm. that's a component all in itself. Mm -hmm. And then you have, you know, the initiation of the reward system mm -hmm. because if you do good you're going to get good right right you know right. and we're not trying to force it on you we just right. we're just nurturing like this plant it can't right. grow without some water right it can't grow without me being attentive to it right we're just you know that's what you are it's planting the seeds mm -hmm. and then when you plant the seeds you await the heart exactly that's it's, it's, it. it's the laws of the universe it's the laws of reaping and sowing mm -hmm. so just like your program here if you instill in people that the seeds that you plant, if you plant positive seeds, right. the harvest that you're going to reap, you're going to reap a positive harvest. Mm -hmm. If you plant negative seeds, destructive seeds, that's what you're going to reap as right. well. Right. So, I, you know, I always tell my people that uh, uh, your, your thoughts become words and your words right. become actions, actions and your actions, actions become right. consequences. So therefore, you got to watch, watch your thoughts. Your God. Pray before you think and think before you speak. That's right. Because life and death is in the power of the tongue. tongue. That's right. So through these programs, it's not only when we do the case management or we do this and that. We have to encourage these people to positive thinking and positive speaking because what you speak manifests into reality. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these people, you know, on the streets, they have given up like you and I had discussed before we even started doing this. A lot of them have given up. I can't do no better. And if you keep feeding that in your mind over and rehearsing that over and over and over in your mind, as a man thinks, so he is. Mm -hmm. So these programs that I really congratulate you on in helping and motivating these people hey. to uh, re reprogram their brain right, to right. think positive. Right. Because once you start feeding yourself with positivity uh, and you ask in the spirit, then when you pray to uh, ask God to give you the faith to wait on the physical manifestation of the blessing. But mm -hmm. once we pray for it, it's already done. Right. You see what I'm saying? We right. just have to wait on the physical manifestation. Exactly, exactly. You know, I'm, I'm listening to you speak, and um, I wanted to ask you before we even got to this, I'm a little off topic, but, mm -hmm. you know, if I'm not mistaken, when I did my research or I listened to you speak, didn't you write April Love? I wrote the course of April Love. You wrote the course of April Love. course of April Love. Okay. Where, the, when we went in there, a matter of fact, um, the drummer named Alvino Bennett, his daughter's name was April. Okay. Okay, so he penned the uh, the verses, but they didn't have a hook. So I'm the one that came up my April love and a special love in my life. Mm -hmm. So that's what I wrote. So I, I co-wrote it. Okay. okay. And um, I don't know, it's, it's, I didn't even like the song when I first recorded it. I recorded April Love at a and Records in 1980 at about 4 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I really didn't even like it, but the producer, his name is Michael Stokes, mm -hmm. produced the Love Magic album that April Love was on. Mm -hmm. He said, this is going to be a hit. This is going to be a hit. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> you know, I'm up in there singing April Love and okay. showed up. I mean, you know, okay. uh, it debuted on KJLH mm -hmm. back in 1980 uh, okay. by Stevie Wonder. Right. Heard it, and he liked it and started right. playing it. And from KJLH, it just, it took off. Okay. It took off. Okay. And, you know, people that I knew, they said they started naming it. Kids, April. Oh, babies were born. Blaming people. And then, ah. being born. I ain't had nothing to do with that. Don't put that on me. <laughs> Well, LTD is a lick, man. LTD is a lick. But Everybody. you know what is interesting because Pat Boone, okay. the white artist, yes. Pat Boone yes. from the 1900s yes. dinosaur, he yes. recorded the first April Love. Oh. But it wasn't my April Love. Okay. His April Love my April Love. Okay, that's okay. what you're looking okay. up on the internet. Wow, okay. <laughs> Pat Boone. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, many years ago, uh, Casey Kasem, the late Casey oh, Kasem, yeah, he had a show on a TV. To, 
top 10, 40 or yeah, something. Right, yeah. right, right. And exactly. he uh, did a thing. He said, who recorded April Love? Yeah, my picture up there and Pat Boone's picture up there. Mm -hmm. And the people would have to call in and say, who recorded April Love? Well, both of us recorded April Love. Right, So right. he's just trying to trick the audience. Okay. You know, so I mean, I've had a lot of great things come to me behind April Love and a lot of... Uh, People that like really enjoyed the song to this day. Right, you know, they, right. They still enjoy the song. So I just, you know, I just thank God. I stay humble. Well, you know, you know yes, you are. But mm -hmm. you are professional at what you do. When I went to go see you at your last event that I know of that I went to, you know, you're an amazing entertainer. I mean, you really put yeah, your thanks. all. I mean, it's like, oh, and I was really amazed. I was like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, and you had full control of the band, mm -hmm. and you really gave us a, a performance. That's because I paid. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a I didn't pay him. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, and so for you to just basically come down here and give us what you're going to give us on Saturday, yeah, that's going to be a jewel, you know. And I'm looking uh, forward to it. Yeah. And so we was talking. I mean, it's like I can't wait for us to do um, work off off the show, mm -hmm. you know, off record. I can't wait to see mm -hmm. what we can make happen, mm -hmm. you know, because Lady Dee Dee myself, you know, I do a lot of things, and singing mm -hmm. is one of them. Now, you know what, I do have a movie coming out. Ah, yes, please tell us about your movie. I have a movie coming out. We're, we're about 90% done with the filming aspect of it. Uh, a great cast, a sensational multicultural cast. Okay. And um, the movie, it, it's about two black pastors. Okay. That knocked the so-and-so out of the devil. What? Yes. Shut your mouth. I say, may... The church be glorified. Hey, hey, you know what? Okay. We need to see the from the manifestation of us taking control and taking and, control. Take and, knock, and knocking the feet, feet not stepping on the devil's head. No, like that. no Both. weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. That's right. The we movie is called The Exorcist Unleashed. <laughs> okay, mm. and it's about eradicating that demonic spirit out of the earth realm, mm -hmm. okay, because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But principalities. You know, but principalities. You know, we're so busy looking at people thinking that's your problem. Mm -hmm. It's that spirit, spirit that's inside, inside of that them. Person. You know, yeah. but then that spirit inside of them as it approaches you, it becomes a test for mm -hmm. you yeah. on how you're going to react to the madness. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's what the movie's all about. It's about uh, eradicating the devil. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, so okay. it's a good, strong cast. Uh, I'm doing the soundtrack, the movie, and I'm playing one of the pastors. Okay, and okay. you doing? You say you're doing the soundtrack too? I'm doing. Oh yeah, the soundtrack is off the hook. Really? I cannot. Yeah, well, I'm, you know what? You need to come back with the with the with oh, yeah, the scene. Oh yeah, I'm the trailer. I'm gonna yeah. bring the trailer so you can play it on your show. Yeah, put it on the show. Uh, Evelyn Champagne King is doing some vocals on the soundtrack. Oh, that's my uh, girl. My cousin uh, Derek Stewart, uh, A.K.A. Fat Lip on the Far Side. Now the Far Side is a group. Uh, um, the youngsters know the far side. They recorded a song called Keep On Passing Me By. That was a big hit for them. Okay. And Derek, my cousin, a.k.a. Fat Lip, he also does uh, scores for uh, Eminem. Oh, okay. Movies, uh, eight Miles. He did oh, the, uh, okay. He did a score for, for that? Miles. Okay. Yes, that's Derek Stewart. Okay. Who's also the cousin of uh, Sly Stone. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I got all these people in my family. Right, yeah. right, right. So you're very well connected. Oh, yeah. And I know that when you come, you're going to come strong and hard. I'm going to do it. And I'm so glad that this is going to be, you know, you're going to be a part of our sixth yes. um, video, our sixth um, concert. And I'm honored. Thank behind. you, thank you. Yeah, this is this is like, I'm in awe. You know, who to think? You know, we started out, I met you at U-Turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And here it is, look. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, so no one will tell them what God can do. Um, let me see, what else? Is there anything else that you would like to tell tell our Skiro residents, our viewers, anything just, else? Just, just to have hope and, and never, never, never give up hope. You know, I always, you put God first. Mm -hmm. You put God first and learn how to forgive. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's one of the key components of a successful life and restructuring your life is learning how to forgive. People label it PTSD issues, people label it anger. Well, I, I've under, come to understand that the root of anger is deep hurt. A lot of these people out here have been in relationships that went sour or they lost a job or they just given up hope. But every day that you wake up is a gift. I mean, there's an old saying that yesterday is history.